Hi, I'm at the Iron Magazine Global Forum 2019, and I'm with Lorenzo Crispaldoni from Fedurum. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to meet you, and glad to be here. And you're speaking on a session about sort of what, what are the expectations of IR among portfolio managers. Can you, can you tell us a bit about, I don't know, you know what, what do you like to see for investor relations? What, what, you know, what, what makes a good investor relations officer to you? Well, actually, uh, investor relations, they become very, very important lately. And uh, especially when the company is listed, especially if they have a global view. And so they have to work uh, in the same direction overall as a team to create a collaborative or uh, even a reciprocal trust between uh, the investor, which um, often is a shareholder too, and uh, the company. So that, uh, I guess, is a very important mutual trust and a respect of our, our role. And how much, how much do you interact with investor relations officers, you know, senior management as part of your, you know, your investment process? Well, we have, uh, I would say, strong relationship because uh, often we have occasion through email, through Skype, through, of course, a phone call. Uh, to be, I don't want to say daily updated because it's not correct, but on a quarterly basis we have a good relationship. Uh, of course, there are some events. One time uh, we need a one-to-one and there is an opportunity. And then it becomes um, always a more proactive, everything is in both ways. Okay, and I mean, with, with uh, MIFID 2 now, you know, having been you know, implemented around about 18 months ago, I mean, there's a lot of talk about how that's affecting roadshows, conferences, relationship between investors and sell side and companies. Has it affected you in the work you do in any way? Not well, um, the most part um, and the effect in my job is uh, to create a, uh, a more direct relationship with the, with the investor, with the team. Uh, if you consider um, you have a relationship from some years, many years, and then it becomes easier no? to have uh, just a phone call to say, look, I would like to have an update, to meet in the, CF- the CFO or the, even the management to understand this part of a plan, and then it becomes, in some way, for me, it's easier. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, some people are finding things more difficult, but some people are seeing improvements in, in how they do yeah, things. Yeah, for sure, the region improvement, yeah. yeah. And maybe just one final point, you know, if there's one, I don't know, tip that you could give investor relations officers, you know, about how to make, you know, th- the relationship between your firm and, and them better to improve it, what would you say? Well, um, this is a, is a is an interesting question because I have a global view. Mm. I did it for many years Japanese, uh, Asian, European and IR teams. So if I can answer them um, as globally as possible, I guess it's important never never lose the trust. Because if uh, the investor loses the trust in some way, it uh, becomes difficult to see again your company um, as a good investment or actual investment anymore. This, uh, I guess the trust is the base of the, the relationship of, um, um, is important, very important, at least according to my view. Yeah, no, I think that's, you know, that's going to be very important uh, to know everybody involved. But thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. You're welcome.